Canada is ready to send troops to Ukraine on one condition. Canada is open to sending a limited number of troops to Ukraine. Canadian troops will not take part in combat operations, but they are ready to train Ukrainian soldiers, according to Canadian Defence Minister Bill Blair. Blair said that the idea of sending military personnel was discussed earlier this week in Paris, where he was present, while Canada, like many other NATO countries, opposed the idea proposed by French President Emmanuel Macron. Blair announced a potential non-combat mission for Canadian troops. This involves sending a limited number of military personnel to train Ukrainian defenders within Ukraine's territory, provided that such an operation is conducted far from the front lines. According to reports, the security agreement between Canada and Ukraine, signed last week, allows Canada to conduct training activities in Ukraine when conditions permit. For the first time in the West, the idea of sending troops to Ukraine was raised at the highest level. French President Emmanuel Macron voiced it at an informal summit in Paris, stating that nothing can be ruled out. Military and political observer of the information resistance group Alexander Kovalenko notes that Macron is addressing various geopolitical issues, expanding influence in Armenia and heading a coalition of long-range weapons supplies to Ukraine. Maybe he feels like Napoleon, on a horse, but his statement really raises many questions. What troops will be in Ukraine? For what purpose? Why? With what functionality? Will they act as peacekeepers? Then what will they do? Stand along the line of contact and monitor the ceasefire? But why stop the fire if Ukraine has repeatedly stated that we will not stop until we win? Or, as full-fledged allies, like during World War II, who will liberate Ukrainian territory? I have big doubts about this. It won't happen. We don't live in the times of Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher. And in general, we are surrounded by quite weak politicians who will not make such tough decisions, he notes. U.S. intends to launch further strikes at Houthis, but Ansar Allah expands war in Red Sea. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan has said Washington intends to launch further strikes at Houthis in the Middle East. We intend to take additional strikes and additional action to continue to send a clear message that the United States will respond when our forces are attacked, when our people are killed, Sullivan told. Abdel Malik al-Houthi, the leader of the Houthis from Yemen's rebel Ansar Allah movement, has warned about more escalation if Israel continues combat operations in the Gaza Strip. I am warning Israel and the United States and telling them that they must stop the aggression against Gaza and lift the blockade. Otherwise, we will seek more escalation. The Al Masira television channel quoted him as saying in an address to supporters, Following the escalation of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict in the Gaza Strip, the Houthis warned that they would launch strikes on Israeli territory while barring ships associated with the Jewish state from passing through the waters of the Red Sea and the Bab el-Mandeb Strait until Tel Aviv ceased its military operation against Palestinian radical group Hamas in the embattled enclave. Since mid-November, more than 30 civilian ships have been attacked by the Houthi in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Meanwhile, the Houthi military spokesperson Yahya Sari said the strikes will not pass without a response and consequences. Another Houthi spokesperson, Mohammed Abdul Salam, indicated the group would not be deterred, saying Yemen's decision to support Gaza would not be affected by any attack. Russia has become a menace to France in view of its actions. French Prime Minister Russia has become a menace to France in view of its actions since the onset of the Ukraine conflict, French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal told the Senate defending President Emmanuel Macron's earlier suggestion of potentially sending Western troops to Ukraine. Macron's words came after a meeting of Ukraine's sponsors in Paris on Monday. No consensus was reached on the prospect of sending ground troops to aid Kiev, he told the press. However, the French president promised to stop at nothing to make sure Russia does not win in Ukraine. Responding to questions in the French Senate about the remarks, Attal insisted that Russia has hardened its stance towards France over the course of the conflict. He accused Moscow of spreading false information while engaging in attempts of destabilization and cyber attacks. The reality is that Russia is a direct and immediate threat to France on all levels. 
He insisted that the French leader's statements were responsible and echoed Macron's view on the need to ramp up military aid to Ukraine, explaining that he may have been speaking of troops being sent to provide technical support to Kiev's army rather than to fight. Atal suggested that such a deployment may include training Ukrainian troops in ground-to-air defense or protecting certain borders. European officials balked, however, quickly denying that they had any intention to put boots on the ground in Ukraine. From skeptics, Hungary and Slovakia, to staunch pro-Ukraine nations such as Poland and Germany, governments insisted that no such plans were in motion. The same message came from NATO Secretary-General Jens Stoltenberg and Washington. (laughs) 